Hello, in this tutorial I will be showing you how to import your HeroZoo Spring Control onto your avatar. First, make sure that you have the SDK VR Chat 3 on your scene, and second of all, have your avatar in the scene and the prefab unpacked. Now for the Spring Control, what you will need to do is first unpack it, or extract it. Once it's extracted, drag and drop the file onto your assets. Then, open HeroZoo Spring Control, put the prefab into your scene, then onto your avatar, and unpack the prefab completely. Next, open your avatar's armature, hips, spine, chest, left shoulder, and right shoulder, and keep going until you reach your hands. Next, expand your index fingers, and then on your F underscore index dot zero three dot L and on your right one, add a component, rigid body, make your angular drag for both of them zero, make sure both of them don't use gravity, and turn on all of your constraints. Do this again for your right finger. Next, click on your avatar. After clicking on your avatar, click on default gesture, and then drag and drop your gesture spring override into your gestures. Scroll down a little bit, and where it says your menu, you can either drag and drop your spring menu right on top of it, or you can go to your actual menu, and then add a new control, Let's call it Spring Ball. Let's make it a submenu. And then on submenu, click the little dot on the right and choose Spring Menu. For the sake of this video, I won't be doing that. I'll just be dragging and dropping my Spring Menu directly onto the Avatar's menu. Next, scroll down to the prefab that we added in. Click onto the spring joint, bracket always show. Move your tip of your left index finger into the top spring joint, and the tip of your right index finger into the bottom spring joint. Now you can build your avatar and it will work right away. To change your avatar settings for the spring, the higher the spring, the more it will be attached to your finger. The lower the spring, the further it away is from your finger, and the less it is bound to spring back into place. I like it around anywhere from 7 up to 15. But this is personal preference. For now, I'll keep it at 7. Underneath your spring joint bracket, always show bracket. It says spring bracket toggle. Here you can change the mesh of your spring joint. So if you see on the top right, I'm going to show it, and this is what I have for now. This you can change to anything. So where it says sphere, mesh filter, where it says mesh, sphere, you can choose whatever mesh you like. If you want a custom one, just import your FBX, and then it will automatically appear here. You can change it into anything. I can even change it into a cube, capsule, cylinder, a plane, anything that you wish, and it will always work. For the sake of this video, I'll be using a sphere. If you scroll down, this is where your trails are. Here, you can change how long the trail will last for. I put it at 3. If you want it to last for a shorter time, you should lower it. If you want it to last a lot longer, you should increase it. I personally like it at 3, but people do think it's a little bit too long, so you might want it at a 1 or a 2. You can also change the texture of your mesh by going to Mesh Render, Materials, Element 0, and then the little dot on the right side, you can choose whatever you want. 
and I'll change the design. So I can make a combination of changing the mesh into a different shape. And then the mesh render into a different material. Once you've done all of your editing, make sure that you also expand the world pause and then world pause item and spring pause. Make sure that you paste all of your values that you edited on your spring toggle onto the spring pause. Make sure your spring toggle is hidden before uploading. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching.